Well, everyone, it's that time of year again. Call of Duty is gone again. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is officially a failure, and Infinity Ward's second failure after, well, um, we don't want to speak about that, do we? Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, even though it being the worst game in the world, it's copy and pasted. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is copied and pasted because it is exactly like Black Ops 3. The multiplayer, exactly the same. Campaign overhand, campaign was actually a great campaign, but it had the downsides of everyone dies, everyone dies, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Don't make a campaign where everyone dies, you should know that by now. Caught, didn't Modern Warfare teach you anything, you stupid idiots. So, first I'll go out the multiplayer, the multiplayer is exactly the same as Black Ops 3's multiplayer. The movement feels exactly the same. The movement speed is just like, I'm playing Black Ops 3, but when I play it, when it comes to hit markers, it's the worst hit markers in the world because I will shoot someone dead in the face, but I will lose the gunfight. But for no apparent reason, maybe because it's from Sledgehammer's baby, the supply drops and their weapon variants. Instead of having the RIP for the AK 12, we have now have the NV4 flatline that can insta kill me across the map, even though. An insta kill weapon normally only works up close and personal. Only because of this variant it has got built in insta kill with such thing as called infinite range. Basically, having infinite range, I will get shot at the same damage as far away as up close. This is why you'll never see any Call of Duty Infinite Warfare gameplay on my channel from the multiplayer ever again because I cannot literally play this. Call of Duty 4 is actually the thing that's keeping Call of Duty Infinite Warfare alive. Keeping Call of Duty and Infinite Warfare alive is just like terrible. Just put it down. It's just shouldn't be living. Call of Duty 4 should be the main game this year because I think if they brought DLCs along with it, designed exactly the same way as the maps they did back in the day by Ravensoft, Ravensoft should have done it. Infinity Ward should have had four years to make a game because Infinite Warfare didn't come out so well. Um, that's about it, right? Ravensoft Studios would work so well as a studio to make a Call of Duty because of everything they've done with Call of Duty 4, they've brought all the modes back. It looks real. It looks more visually pleasing to play on it on next gen, this current gen we are on, than playing Infinite Warfare. Because anytime I load up Infinite Warfare and I sit down to play it, it's just the graphics are too bright and not visually pleasing. It's like every time I play, I need to put glasses, like sunglasses on to play that game because the, it's so bright. Even if you put the brightness all the way down to zero, it's like just you, you're sat in the sun. It's like that mission from the campaign. We ain't even got to the modes yet. The, th the third mode they bring out every year is normally Treyarch has zombies and then Exo Zombies came into it when um, Sledgehammer was came involved. Well, that was a complete disaster because Exo Zombies, well... Annoying EMP zombies. Just uh, leave it at that. Infinity Water could have been more creative with just creating a zombie mode that is basically completely the exact same as Treyarch Zombies. Treyarch Zombies has developed over eight years to become probably one of the best zombie modes to date, but Infinity Ward have just completely ripped off and just changed a couple of stuff and took some fan made perk ideas and put it into the map. Just so they can get people to buy their game because Trial Blazing was actually Banana Colada as a pack that was made during the lifespan of Black Ops 3 that people wanted in the map because we didn't get any new packs. Infinity Ward should have just gone back to doing their survival mode, but maybe they could put a storyline on it. Maybe like use some old classic outfits like Captain Price or so. They could have used them and just like brought them back and saying that it is one of those times during the war just before that between. Mod after Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, they could have actually done a story about that. Because we, they could have made the story of how Price disappeared and went to the Gulag from Modern Warfare 2. It would have been so good. Or they could have even changed Extinction. They could have made Extinction more like friendly towards team players. Because Extinction was basically a solo only game mode because of due to that drilling process and doing challenges. Because challenges with teammates was so annoying. It was like AIDS. Even though Extinction was the most annoying thing on Earth to play, it was actually more fun than actually playing a copy and paste game mode that has been used for over eight years. I give Sledgehammer for actually trying to change it up. 
even though they did it differently and it went horribly wrong. The extinction mode was actually a fun mode. It was original. It wasn't copy and pasted. It was something brand new to the community. It actually worked and I believed if they could have actually changed it to make the story to make feel better and actually making people go out their way to do this easter like an easter egg not making them forced to play the easter egg and complete it every single time in one playthrough they could have actually got somewhere with a game mode without without extinction i think infinity ward could have actually done way worse because they probably would have copy and pasted zombies back then if they didn't do extinction because without extinction zom zombies would would literally have died back then Extinction is probably the thing that's kept it alive because having zombies every three year, every year, not three years, we're having, we used to have zombies every year. Every year, having zombies every year actually kind of gets annoying because we're constantly playing zombies because we're constantly getting new stuff for zombies and it actually is getting repetitive over these years because we're just playing the same thing over and over again now. Playing zombies for a year is okay, or playing a year, take a break, play it for two years, it's alright, it's just back to back three years is just so bad because it's zombies, 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 but it doesn't work because Infinity Ward cannot do zombies right as well as, well they can do it better than Sledgehammer did it, but having that, just, just having that mode that's copy and pasted just I just cannot play that like it like all the time as much as I could play Black Ops 3 when that came out because Black Ops 3 was the probably the best experience with invention of the gobble gums because the gobble gums change you could literally change it up each game and it would make it so much fun to play every single time because you could play a different way. Fair Fortune Cards is exactly the same thing as Gobble Gums. It's just it's in supply jobs. That's basically Dr. Monty's faction. It's exactly the same thing. So, I'm basically saying Call of Duty is not Call of Duty anymore. Call of Duty has gone to shit. What, what is next for Call of Duty? I'd rather go what, I'd rather in the next year, if the next Zombies mode or whatever mode it is, it's just like Zombies replaced with the exact same game mode, copy and paste it. I'm going to have more fun going out of my way to go play Outlast Part 2 because that game looks amazing just from the reveal from the Gaming Awards the other day. It was just so much fun. Hope, hope you guys really enjoyed this little rant video about Call of Duty and where it is now because I'm actually quite pissed off with how Call of Duty is going right now. It has gone to shit. We want boots on ground, but no, they don't listen. Sledgehammer, you better listen to me. You better, better, better freaking put boots on ground. Get rid of this supply drop bullshit because supply drop brings in money, but it's kind of pissing me off. And it's, I've had literally had enough with all these supply jobs and now Call of Duty's are now copy and pasted every single year. It's getting annoying and I'm going to leave you guys with a video basically how I think Call of Duty is going right now.
through the valley of the shadow of death and I fear no evil because I'm blind to it all in my mind